Hello and welcome back to Valo Vision News. I'm Nick Norris. Thanks so much for watching. Today we're going to start with the weather. Rain has been coming down outside the <coughs> outside the studio here all day. You're taking a live look outside from Strong Hall down toward Myrick. UMPD is advising people to move their cars from the Bib Graves parking lot and in front of the 3D art building. The grass lot behind Myrick will be closing until the ground dries. And don't expect the wet weather to go away anytime soon. Montevallo was put under a flash flood warning until 6.30 Monday night. The National Weather Service has issued a flash flood watch for Central Alabama until 6 p.m. Tuesday. Remember, if you encounter flooded roads, turn around. Do not try to drive through the flood waters. In some areas, the National Weather Service expects rainfall totals to range from 4 to 6 inches. That includes Jefferson and much of Tuscaloosa, Tuscaloosa counties as well. Montevallo is predicted to get between 3 and 4 inches of rain between now and Tuesday night. The Weather Service advises anyone near rivers, lakes, streams, or creeks to be prepared to move to higher ground if need be. The National Weather Service also warns of possible severe storms lasting from 6 p.m. on Wednesday to 6 a.m. Thursday morning. The overall threat of the storm is expected to be low, but the National Weather Service cannot rule out isolated damaging winds or tornadoes, especially in the highlighted yellow areas. Be sure to monitor local weather sources for updates throughout the week. Switching gears to campus news, college night festivities wrapped up this weekend with Purple Side taking home the victory. Today we've turned our set purple in honor of the Purple Victory. We'll talk with Purple Side leaders Bria Owens and Dakota Patrick about their win later in the show. Let's take a look back at this year's shows. Gold Side took the stage first this year. Their show, The Golden Days, was set at high school in 1976. It told the story of Dottie Wagner and Charlie Chamberlain an interracial couple who would, in that era, not be accepted by the public because of their races. The two go through the first week of senior year together, and in the end, realize they're more together than apart. Purple Side took the stage to present Witchful Thinking, one hex of a musical. They told the story of Clara, who is the heir to the throne after her father passed away. However, her stepmother assumes the role of queen, and in an effort to rescue her throne, she, the queen sends Clara on a dangerous quest for treasure meant to kill her. Clara and her partners overcome all of the obstacles and it is the queen who dies in the end. Clara then accepts the role of queen and makes the kingdom more enjoyable for the people. After all the points were tallied, the golds and purples filled the Palmer stage and waited to hear SGA president Olivia Eldridge reveal the winner. Take a look. This is something to be proud of. Purple side's victory truly is something to be proud of. This is the first victory for the side in three years and for many of its members. We were the first to break the purple, rec the purple Victory news on social media in this video that's gotten over 8.6 thousand views on our Facebook page. During, Montevallo, during homecoming at Montevallo also recognized others for their hard work and dedication to the university. Mr. and Miss Montevallo were named at Friday's show of college night. Jeffrey Audrish received the Mr. Montevallo title and Sarah Engel honored as Miss Montevallo. Congratulations to both of them. This year's college night was dedicated to Andrew Fancher. He is a 2014 Montevallo graduate and works on Palmer staff, which assists with the College Night productions. Fancher posted on Facebook saying, Whenever I think about past College Night dedication recipients, I think of legends, people who I've looked up to for a long time. To be in the same group as the others is absolutely surreal. Remember, there's always more news 24-7 on our social media pages. Just search for Vision News on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for more stories throughout the week. Still ahead on Vision News, Purple Side leaders Dakota Patrick and Bria Owens sit down with us to break down their 2020 College Night experience. We'll be right back. Covering our campus, our community, and all the stories that matter to you. This, this is Valo Vision News. News. Welcome back to Valo Vision News. I'm here with the 2020 Purple Side leaders Dakota Patrick and Bria Owens. Thanks for joining us. Of course, oh, thank you. thanks for having us. <laughs> How y'all doing? Good. We're, good. <laughs> We're both a little hoarse, so we apologize for that ahead of time. <laughs> well, uh, it's been three long years since uh, the Purple Side at Victory, the last one in 2016. How does it feel to be the two leaders that got to bring this to so many people that's been waiting for it? Oh, man. Well, Exhale. You, <laughs> um, you said, like, we brought it, but, I mean, it's really the side. Like, our side this year has grown so much. And so I feel like going in, we already felt like we had a victory. It was one of the most special and memorable um, 
years I've ever had with the side. And so many people put in so much hard work. And so I think the whole side brought it. And so standing on that stage, like when they announced it, it really was like surreal. And we were like, oh my gosh, like we did it, the side did it. And it was just really magical and really special. Yeah. Um, and it was something like really, really um, amazing to be a part of, but it really was the whole side. What was your first thought that went through your head when, when they, you heard the announcement that it was a purple victory? Uh, it was just, it was disbelief. <laughs> yeah. I mean, almost, I mean we, we felt like we had worked hard, uh, mm -hmm. but I mean, both sides do. We work hard and, and fight for everything we can mm -hmm. and try to tell our story. Um, but when it's announced, I mean, there was just this brief pause and, and all of a sudden eruption and yeah. we were, we were, we were like, that's, that's not real, but, but that, yeah. that's what it was. We, we were like, yeah. We just, <laughs> we just like, took over our bodies. We just hit the floor. Our legs out. Yeah, literally. Us. It was just, I don't know, it's just relieving, but also like crazy. And I just like, I don't know, you got, you've had a victory your freshman year. Yeah, mm. it, was, it was very different. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was, it was exciting because I am one of the few that was left that had seen a victory because mm -hmm. I'm a fifth year. Um, <laughs> but it was, it was nice to be able to be a part of that, that group. Mm -hmm. um, Versus from my freshman year to my mm. senior year. Um, and the three middle years in the row in the middle had to happen the way they did yeah. um, for this year to turn out this way. Because like Bria was saying, we, we were able to grow as a, a strong, united family this mm. year. And that, I think, is one of the biggest reasons we were able to come out on top. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Cool. So uh, in your show, what would be the one message you want uh, the audience to take away? Throw it over to the director. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that our show this year was about acceptance yeah, and absolutely. being proud of who you are, um, no matter what, no matter your background, no matter where you come from, no matter things that have happened in your life. Um, you know, you don't forget those, but you you let them mold you into who you are and be proud of that, no matter what anybody else is telling you. Yeah. Um, and I think that's something we were able to really convey this year mm -hmm. uh, through the whole process, but. Uh, also through the show at the end to everybody who came. It's just such controversial topics, I guess, yeah. um, in today's culture. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was the kind of story we wanted to tell. Yeah, yeah. well, to, to me, that kind of speaks to what Purple Side is and wh what the identity is, is that it's, yeah. it's, it doesn't matter where you're from, you can come together and mm -hmm. you can be a part of something bigger than yourself. And definitely. That's definitely like our catchphrase this year is this is something to be proud of because not just the year, but like the show and the journey in the show and the journey that we took to put that show on stage and the hard work that everybody put in, it was just genuinely like something to be proud of. And everyone on our side was someone to be proud of. Like it was just really special. Okay, well, that's all the time we have for today, but thank you again, uh, Dakota and Bria, for stopping by and joining us, and congratulations again on your BV. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. Thank you for thank having you. us. Very much. <laughs> well, that's all the time we have for today. Be sure to tune in next uh, week to Television News again. Thank you.